Hello, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hello, hello, and welcome everyone to Higher Plane Games. Uh, my name's Simon, and I will be taking you all through the wonder that is. Oh, it doesn't seem to have started yet. Ah, now it's started. Come on, YouTube, keep up, keep up. <laughs> welcome to the first of a selection of live streams slash videos depending on how I get on with it um, of various Steam Next Fest genres of games. Now I have to say compared to the previous Steam Next Fest I found far less games to be interested in which is good for me because last time it was horrific and I was trying to do about 150 games and it all fell apart very horribly. So today we're doing driving, racing and sports games. To be fair, there's like one sports game at the end. But, you know, there's a theme. So we're going to kick off this stream with a game called Classic Sport Driving. Now, this interested me purely because uh, it really looks like an old classic, old school thing where you was able to um, dive offline. 30, next fest, 33 keys to win. Interesting. Track of the day coming to leaderboards. Uh, miles per hour, English. Okay, so. Turn left. Turn right. Surely that's enough. There we go. Okay, let's go and explore. Start. Oh, generator? What do you call it? Type any phrase or word. Okay. Cake. Ah, nine and a half. <laughs> Excellent. Switch to online to confront other players. All right. Okay, so the elevation gain, elevation loss. Okay. Oh, hang on. The it's the wrong way round. The controls are the wrong way round. <laughs> Back to menu! Left was right and right was left. What happened there? Turn... Ah! That was me. <laughs> you twit. There we go. Apologies for that. Let's go have a look on cake again, shall we? I feel like some naughty words will end up in that generator. Okay, Dune Roads, Clear Sky, 9.9 .9 miles, Arcade Difficulty. Juicy, let's get going. Apologies for that. So we've got Altitude. Where my face is down at the bottom of the screen, there's Altitude and just the track name and a challenge for a personal best. So I'm assuming once you've put in a phrase, that then means that you can... Oh, hello. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so there's a little bit of um, sway in the turn, so it's not like when I play these types of. This is checkpoint one, yeah. Oh, we've done 1.9 miles already. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> boink, boink. Hey, Pinky. I'll take a look at you in a second. I was just <laughs> so busy seeing that you'd written a paragraph, I forgot to actually do out. This feels. This feels good. There's definite. It takes a bit of getting used to because you're like auto tuned to do. 
to have it like hang on and then like let go of grip from 100% to zero and it's not like that. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. I like it. Okay. Brake is very um No it does it does happen, it's just it's a bit it doesn't visually translate if that makes sense, but you are losing speed. Hello, OBG. Hope you're doing well. Don't look at the text whilst driving. <laughs> Apologies, I haven't replied to your tweet of what looks good yet. This is literally my first load of downloads of games. So there'll be various live streams and then I'll probably do a little video of here's the stuff that I quite liked <laughs> at the end. Because what I normally do is I add everything onto my wish list, and then once I've played the demo, they either stay on or get kicked off. But then my wish list is disgraceful. I think it's just gone over 800. <laughs> Someone's addicted to games. I tell you what I did pick up off of your channel though, the off-road drive game that you featured last week. It was only like £2 that game, so I picked it up. So I can't wait to dive into that because I saw your gameplay of it and thought, yes, I know I'll like that. So thank you very much for that video. Finish! I've actually done some driving from this. I actually know some of the games you're trying out. Yay! Not prepared for your streams. <laughs> Open for a stream like this. An interesting choice. Thank, thank you. Okay. Bernie says, don't read tasks while driving. Well, Bernie says a lot of things. But Bernie can't... I was about to say Bernie can't breathe because he's dead now, but he's not. He's still alive. Oh, so it gives you... Oh, I like this. This whole bit on the side where you can see what other people have raced and then try it out. That's a good tentacle hentai! <laughs> Who did that? Heavy tempo. So then you've got raced and then you've got favourites as well. Okay. So we've got Arcade, Sim Light, some Breaking Needed, Sim Full, Heavy Breaking Zones and Hairpins. Yes. Okay, we'll do that. So I feel like whilst we've got two of you in the chat, let's race Mirvold. Let's make sure you spell it right, Smith. There we go, Mirvold. You're a 10.6 kilometre Clear sky night race. Let's go. And we'll have to see what uh, I do excel at night time. Tell that to your lovers. Okay, I quite like nice. Ah! Oh, the gra ah, I, the handling is different as well. It's much more. Um... Oh, okay. I like this better. Arcade was very level one outrun. <laughs> this this has bite to it. Hmm. I'm much more interested now. 
Oh. Simon. <laughs> that must imply then that if you put in a word, like this is full sim Mirvold, but there must be an arcade Mirvold and a mid sim Mirvold. Who knew my friend came in three different difficulty levels? Checkpoint. Sounds like a drunk night out. Oh. Find that apex, Simon. Come on. So I'm ab I am absolutely making a dog's dinner of this, but what's the best way to describe the handling? Rubbery? It's definitely floaty. I feel like there needs to be more visual aid with the braking. Like, I don't know, locked brakes or something like that to kind of show that it's difficult to get to grips with like how fast is fast now on this whereas arcade felt a bit slow this now feels too slow and then too fast interesting though Sandra Bullock it. Okay. So my plan for this is probably about 10 to 15 minutes per game. I've got eight games I think I wanted to get through. I'm not going to do epic epic streams. I don't have the time this week for it. So I've kind of picked like between five to eight games out of a couple of different genres to just do some live streams Check of. Oh, out of it. So we'll probably race on the low budget gaming track and then we'll call this one a day. Oh. No. Oh, I see a lot of chat. Brake is not very responsive. I just by driving. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to get a bit frustrated now. <laughs> I've had a long day at work. I don't need to be humiliated by an outrun clone. Hey, made a corner. I do really like the concept though. <sighs> well, what was that? Doing more cheating than Red Bull and a budget cap. Are we there yet? Oh, nearly. Last sector. Decent draw distance as well. The only thing I always kind of end up on what on I'm never quite sure in my mind where I stand on this. 
there nothing beats a hand created track and it doesn't yeah. matter how oh, she's excited it doesn't matter how good a like random course generator is think of um was it Dirt 4, Colin, uh, Colin McRae Dirt 4, where they was like, oh, you can generate endless tracks for our track editor. But actually it was loads of tiny little things that just got repeated over and over and over again. And it made every track really bland. And I feel like when you've got a smaller indie slash budget title, which I'm assuming classic sport diving will be, some of that kind of, we've just thrown a random algorithm together. Good luck. Um, kind of then comes to the fore a little bit. Let's have a look at the text. Oh, there's a mere file for every mood. Back where it goes back, I see. LGBT. Boo. Arr. Right, I think we've got enough time. Let's see what the low budget gaming track is. Ah. And let's do, let's do sim light so that some breaking is needed, because otherwise I'll just end up stuck somewhere. So you're clear sky, you're an evening race, so clearly you are dinner. But you're the longest of the lot. If we find out actually, LBG, that you are very tall, then I will say that the algorithm knows far too much about you. I'm having the starting view. Okay. Me. Could do with a couple of other cars as well, I think. Okay. Ah! Simon! I thought it said sun breaking. <laughs> Super overcompensating. A bit like most people on Tinder. Oh. oh. Okay. This was a little less painful. I feel like I've taken to this game how I drive the Russian Grand Prix circuit in every F1 game because that track bores me to death so I don't actually stay within the lines. <laughs> Just run out wide. And I've taken the same approach to this game which is probably... Like, this game's okay. I'm not sure... This is not going to be a day one purchase for me. It might be a deep budget maybe. I think it needs more variety in its track building perhaps and if there were some more elements of that put into the actual game itself then maybe I'd be a bit more interested but technically it works fine I really like the idea of the, sh the social bit in the menu where you're able to pick up all of the other people's tracks that people are racing favoriting stuff so that you get the same seed again and again and the fact that they all have online leaderboards. I, th I really like that idea because it brings that... If a few of you get it with a couple of your mates, there's a whole eSports time trial slant that you could bring to this. So, yeah, there's some good base ideas here. And hopefully some of the... If, if it could feel a little bit less floaty and benign in the handling model, I think... There's a little niche gem, potentially. Checkpoint. 
I would argue as well, perhaps these tracks are maybe a bit too long for what you're doing. If these tracks were three minutes max, not five, I think the novelty would not wear off so quick. And apologies, I'm going to talk like this all the way through the live stream because um, I don't know if people know actually. So part of my day job, I do um, content design. So I work for a government department. Boo, hiss, I know. Um, but uh, my job is to try and help make things that like instructions and help for people so that they know what they're doing and a lot of the work that I'm trying to do to help the team that I manage is around uh, user testing and user research so I spend an awful lot of my time asking people lots of weird and wonderful questions and trying to get feedback on products, services, uh, written web content, all of that kind of stuff. So what I get, these um, videos don't necessarily get tons and tons of views because they're all over the place, a bit like my YouTube channel. But what I get every time I do these Steam Next Fest things is developers reaching out and saying really appreciated like the live time feedback that you get because it's good to be able to see prototypes and demos in action but you actually get that what you're thinking and feeling and trying to understand why you're doing what you do and why you feel the way you feel on something so um, some developers had reached out beforehand to kind of say please could you take a look at my game yeah! so I'll be trying to do as much of that as possible So that was classic sport driving. It was certainly something. And that is on Steam Next Fest. Let me take a little look. It seems like there's some more, more variety in the day-night cycle. Yeah, I agree with that. That does need a day and night cycle. Totally agree. Um, it implied that there's weather. Maybe it's just not in there yet. So that is game number one. Next up is a game that I did do a very quick look through in the previous... Yeah, the music was pretty grim for that. Uh, we did have a quick demo of last time. And it's called RXC. Uh, but I believe that we've now moved from an alpha demo to a beta demo. So I've re-downloaded it for this Steam Next Fest to see what the improvements are. Um, because if I remember rightly... This demo broke on us, <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. That's not a good start. The, the controllers don't work in the menus. Good, that is coming through. Multiplayer or free race? Select track. Okay. Let's do a... A slightly phallic track map. Select vehicle. Oh my god. Someone's been making liveries in F1 2022. Um, oh, let's do suicide. Oh, that, there we go. That is Black Marker Brigade livery in a nutshell. Done. Three lap race, damage reduced, repair quick. Qualifying. Great, yeah, if it. I'm getting ready. Me! Hang on, what's. That's not how you qualify for a race. Ooh, I've tried this one. Simon! Yay! Go for good one. Oh! Is that not... I don't know, it is working on the... Okay. Rough. Oh. Okay, this feels like 
This is very public lobby. <laughs> Get out of my way! Thank you. Oh, I like the hat. Do I like the handling of this? I was going to say, I love the handling of this, and then it changed. I like the fact that it's different per terrain. Yes. Ah! This feels very Micro Machines Esports Rally Edition. I like it. And it's the the handling feels weighty. In the oh ah all right. Calm down, calm down. My feels the AI might need some work. quite cool. Try Goop Breed, that's rear-wheel drive, really fun on gravel. I can join in for a multiplayer test if you want. Yeah, sure, go for it. I'll set up a little Group B race. Let's go for that one. Let's try a bit of a chunkier track. Let's go for that. Let's do what Badlands Motorway. Oh, hit gas when the lights go green. Okay. There we go. I get what it means now. Okay. So yeah, this showed real promise last time around. But the AI wasn't in then. Oh, yeah, this feels good. You can really, so there's grip on the drift as you go. Obviously, so I play these games where, oh, ah, <laughs> uh -oh. how'd you respawn? Oh, different cameras, nice. That's a, can you? Oh, you can. Okay, it's a shoulder button. My problem. Okay, so we can do that as a camera angle as well. Oh, I don't really like that. Step back. That kind of swinging camera makes me feel car sick. <laughs> but I'm used to these games where you can, like, the steering controls reverse when you're coming back towards the camera. And that's how the controls are set up for this. I know sometimes that confuses some people, but because I was brought up with games that worked like that, it makes perfect sense to me. Uh oh! Yes, like this a lot. This has improved quite a lot since early this year. Oh, you can really... Ah! I got excited and floored the throttle and that kind of spin around looked good, but it felt good. But it was also like it, it works with the physics. It's the best kind of floaty, I think is what I want to say. Acquired taste though. The time damage on do stops in the middle of the track to fix the car. That also applies to the AI. Nice. What have we got in? Ah, no, I didn't mean to do that. Can I get back? No! Ah. We'll dive out of this in a sec. You're in the game as well. Okay, cool. Let me try and get back out. Quit. Okay, so let's dive back. Let's get into multiplayer then. Let's see how that works. Is that you? 
You're not art hazard. So if I create a race, HPG, create race, come on in. Damage, repair normal. There's Mr. Mirvode. Are you happy with the Group B selection, sir? I'm assuming you are. You are now. Okay, oh, I quite like that. Continue. All right. I'm ready when you are, sir. Watch me get absolute arse whipped. <laughs> the Goat Gigabit Games. All right, mate. Bring it! <laughs> no, Pinky, no! All right, then, go on, then. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Nearly. Don't be that guy. It's the camber and the ability to not drive on the track, Simon. Back you come. Come on. There we go. I'm not used to wear real drive. I prefer the fronties. Did you just wait for me? Is that how bad I am? Taking pity. I bet you still win. Oh, you. Oh, thank you! <laughs> oh, oh, handbags! My ass. Oh, maybe not. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wah, wah. It's almost like we've gone off league racing in race room. Oh, dear. Oh, that's not good. Well done, sir. Well done. You can you can pick the next track if there's anyone in particular you want. Let us know. Do you want to go in forward or reverse? Just choose a car on a track. Okay. Let's go C reverse then. Okay. <laughs> meep meep. <laughs> no! 
Thank, thank you. I like that livery. I don't think that's the right way! <laughs> oh no! Booyakasha! <laughs> oh, I've got damaged wheel. Can I feel it though? Yeah, I can actually. It's peeling off to the right more than it is to the left. Where's the stops then? Or do you have to physically stop? Oh, that's weird. Well, you might actually bloody win this one, Smith. Well done, sir. Well done. Okay, let's try... What's group S? Let's do that and then let's go for... Oh, hello Samson, whoever that is. You have to stop and press LB to fix the car, okay. Awesome. Alright, between one of us has to win against Mr. Samson, El Randomose. What's going on with the crying and the laughing? I don't know, you can do emojis. Stick. Okay. <laughs> yes. Online works really well though.
<laughs> We're gonna get that! Dear. I didn't realise that I was unlapped. Oh, we got Poggy in as well. Okay. Right. Let's keep going. Let's do some more. Okay. And then let's dive into here. Let's do that. I think he knew the fastest car. <laughs> Me too. Let's go for it. It's cute, but it's tricky, but it's it's really addictive and actually very fun to play. This is definitely staying on my wish list. This is probably quite an, a, a good early buy, I think, as well. Ah, uh, pinky no. <laughs> Emoji burn. It's only this game and maybe Circuit Superstars that I'm ever actually faster than you on, so I will take this for the time being until you <laughs> until you do better. Actually I think you're faster, I've just I've been luckier. Maka, Maka. <laughs> the emojis are just funny. <laughs> oh, my dwarf's flying over. I like the damage model on this. Poggy. Oh no! Quick! Go, 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 go! Oh, 
I'm very much enjoying this game. Are we still in race? At least we can bump him out. Okay. What haven't we done? I don't think we've done D in reverse yet. JTC Bristol. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. I think we're good to go again. I think the 15 minutes is up. Yes, that's true. Right, one more. One more and then we'll, we'll, we'll be done. Nice. We cannot force class online. I was just thinking that. Ah, oh, oh, look! It's the emoji gang. <laughs> you all back up again. I will catch you all back up again. It, it, it really fishtails, I think is Mr. Meervold, we've really showed ourselves up. <laughs> for people who do who do like full-on sim racing for hours and hours and hours at a time, we're just absolutely back of the grid material. <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> All right, last lap. At least I can get a top five. I saw that, Mr. Pinky. Superb. Okay. I'm going to dive off from that one so that we can keep going with the rest of the show. But that is... That was a better game, wasn't it? <laughs> that is RXC Rally Cross Challenge. Uh, what have we done? Oh, God, we're nearly on that for half hour. Ruining my day. So that's by Gigabit Games. The release date for that is the 22nd of November to put it into early access. So that's coming in just six weeks time. Um, oh, interesting. Mirvald, you'll know who this is. Oscar Hardwick's added it to his wish list as well. So I think some of our sim racing gang will enjoy that. Should have been Discord to chat. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so continuing the rally theme, next up is a game called Rally Rush 3. 
Now I've not played Rally Rush 1 or 2, so this could go... <laughs> I'm a noob. Oh, that felt very 1992 Formula 1. First name player, last name 1. Um, I don't think so. This is the first time you played on this device, that's true. Okay, let's collaborate. It's very loud. to the sound. we get on this brake assist steer assist no braking only chase camera dynamic difficulty okay interesting okay gear up. gear up is why what that feels wrong but okay Okay, let's do a single stage. There's your wrapping menus. Okay. There are no friends who have tried any of this. Did you give up on this game that quickly? Okay, let's go. Oh, you can change the weather and time and everything. Okay, good to know. Let's start off with sunshine first. Hi BP, hope you're doing well. Yes, I want to buy that card. Oh, we've got upgrades as well. Oh, so you can tune stuff, okay. Engine. Oh, so you can go in and... Oh, boo. Let's get an upgrade straight in. I know how terrible my driving will be. Let's go racing. I have tried to save one and finished it. Aww. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Three okay, left. good. Auto gears. Thank God. Three right. Two left. One hundred. Two right. Don't cut. Two hundred. Five right. Eighty. Five left. Don't cut. Five right. 40, over jump, 80, 
over crest, into three left, 80. It's very we stiff. Fly? 100. Mm, over jump, 80. Six left, 80. Over crest. Three left, 60. Two right. Oh, 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 oh! I believe I can fly! It's very arcadey. Five left, 80. Oh. Over crest, 80. This, there, there. Five right, 100. All right! Four That's... right, 130. Yeah. I feel like I'm being bullied. Um, Four it's... left. 60, one mm. right, and six left, 40. Where's the hand? Oh, there's the hand. There's the hand, break. <laughs> over jump, 80. Five left, over crest. This is, it's very arcade -y. That's all I'm going to say so far. Very arcade -y. So all the cars in the game could be upgraded to all classes in the game. Okay. Fair enough. Eh. Okay, so this has got gravel. So that... What was that? So that was all gravel. Fair enough. Gravel top. Hang on. So that was supposed to be like the lower... Hmm. Okay. Let's try some rain then and see what the thing is for that because that was very it was very grippy I'll give it Three, that two, let's see if the one, rain effects do anything go. different feels Over like no is the 80. answer straight away Five left. 100. we'll try out some of the camera angles on this as well Five left. Ooh. 40. oh hello one right 40 overjump 60. Someone's played Art of Rally. <laughs> Two left, don't cut. 60. One right, 100. Ooh, nice little nose cam. Six left, 80. Six right, into. Four left, 60. Over jump, 170. Three left, 130. Here we go. Four right, don't cut, 40. Three left, 60. Five right, 130. Over crest, six right, 40. Over jump, 170. I'm, I'm barely coming off the accelerator right, though. And five right, 60. So maybe it's just because this Three is right, don't cut. a starter 80. car? One left, 60. There doesn't. One right, 40. Three left, 80. I'm going to regret to say this because I'll Five instantly right, go off the track, but this doesn't feel very challenging. Three right, 60. I was having Five more left. problems staying on the road on that other game that I started off the stream with. <laughs> Four right, and five left, over crest, 150, over finish. Oh, there we go. I knew that would come back to bite me in the ass. But even then, like, the recovery of that, really quick and easy. This feels like... Mate, this could be a good entry point, I think, for people who like the idea of rally games, but quite often rally games are some of the most hardcore and chaotic racing games that are out there, especially if they're really unforgiving. So actually, there's probably a market for this. Was it only Finland that we've got? Was there Rally Cross as well? Yeah, there was. Race AI opponents. Don't mind if I do. Should we upgrade something? Let's do that. Let's customize. Oh, interesting.
Oh, I'm not going to get into that. Oh, you can customize the dashboard. Oh, okay. I uh, see. I quite like some of this stuff, although it's, it costs you to do it. Dial background. I mean, yeah, I'm going to have a yellow dial background. So I like that in terms of like the detail of customization. That seems to be quite cool. Okay. Getting on board a bit more. Oh, sorry, I was missing the chat there, BP. I uh, found your channel for the new Star GP video. Oh, cool. Um, done a 2022 mod for it, but I haven't done tracks for it. Ah, oh, BP, um, my email address is on the YouTube channel. Um, you know when you go into YouTube and it's got the About channel stuff, but I think you can find my email address on there. Um, with new Star GP stuff, um, I think it was on that video. It might be on a different one because I uploaded a couple. Um, the forums for New Star GP got taken down and people were struggling with places to to host all of the mods. So um, there's a page on higherplanegames.com that's just listing the New Star GP mods. So if you need any way to host it so that other people can download it and play it if you ever do any of that kind of stuff, um, just ping it over to me and I'll get it up there and host it for everyone. Let me know. Go. Gotta find my new. S oh! First bit of car control I've had to do all race. All game rather. Brown monster. <laughs> That's called upset stomach, mate. Right. Yeah, I think, so I'm not going to diss this game particularly, I think what I'll say is that it's not my preferred style. There's an awful lot of grip to this for a rally game. I think there's a market for this, I don't think the market is me, but I don't necessarily think this is a bad thing, it's just this is arcade through and through. I'd be interested what price point this is at because some of this feels like PS3 graphic style but then it's got quite a lot of customization and other little bits on Yeah. I so, so I'm starting to talk myself out of there's an audience for this. It's got to be pitched in the right way. Point. Bye bye, polystyrene. underwhelmed is what I would say but it's because I look for something a bit if you're going to be an arcade game because there's so many out there you have to have a very distinctive character and this doesn't have character in like droves and spades so it makes it feel a bit like lost if that makes sense come 
to go into the one more. I'm making a Oh! Brown Monster Limited. Thank you, Brown Monster. So yeah, it's okay. Live events, career. Like all the all of the all of the bare bones for something here is here and that's fine. I just oh didn't want to do that. Thank you very much. But yeah, not for me that one. That was very loud again. Uh, Rally Rush 3 then. When does that come out? Oh, it just says coming soon. Okay. Uh, 11 different countries, 20 different cars, all customization, build your garage. Yeah, there's lots there. I just, it's not for me personally, uh, but that doesn't mean that other people shouldn't be putting it. Roy kind of likes it. Yeah, actually, it's a good shout, V Rally 3. It, it, does hark back to that era of simple pleasures <laughs> i guess i got i can't think of a better way to describe it. it it feels of an era that we've moved on from and so i think that, that's why i think that there's an audience for it um and if it plays its hand well and it's able to um connect all of those like online stages and maybe there's some online leaderboards and you've got those live events that it shows then yeah maybe the, the there is a bit more mm. to it but uh yeah we'll see how we get on now sadly like there's very few racing type games in this the steam next fest uh, or this version of steam next fest so this next we're having to start to veer away slightly from like pure racing um, Hi, this is Cassius, creator of Mile High Taxi. Thanks for trying my game demo. This demo gives you access to one of three available taxis. You'll be able to play through the tutorial, and then about five minutes of gameplay so you can get a feel for things. If you like the game, add it to your wish list now so you can get it for 30% off launch day coming this fall. Oh, thanks, Dev. That's very nice of you. Then immediately selects French language. That wasn't That wasn't the plan. So this is called Mile High Taxi, as opposed to the Mile High Club. Citizen, this is your dispatcher, Bones. So today's your first day, huh? Well, let me get one thing straight right off. I may be your dispatcher, but I don't want to hear from you. And you certainly don't want to hear from me. Head to floor 625. Your car is waiting there. You're authorized to work floors 600 to 650 only. Okay. That's floors 600 to 650. That told me to press the button. Choose your player. <laughs> hey, Kyle. Woohoo! Let's get out there and make some money. Okay. I think we're going to go on a wild ride, peeps. <laughs> All right, rookie. Let's take a couple of minutes to familiarize you with your cab's controls. Listen up. You know how I hate repeating myself. All right. Talk it up faster. I can't believe you don't already know this. Use your gamepad's left analog stick to steer left, right, up, and down. Yes. The gas pedal is the right trigger, yes. and your brakes are the left trigger. Thank you. Let me get on. Now we're going to get you a customer. To pick up a passenger, park your cab just above the ground on that green marker up ahead. PS2 wanted to escape and came back. <laughs> yes, yes. This has all of the vibes of, um, hey everyone, we're from EA Pink. And hey, I've got wacky things. I've got, I believe in 
runes, but also astrology. But I've got braids, but I also like to do kickflips. This has that vibe. <laughs> oh, speedy. Okay. Uh, hey, rookie. <laughs> with you. Uh, I am, mate. Sharp. Good. Now drop the passenger off up ahead. Mm -hmm. See that indicator arrow towards the top of the screen? Dude, that me get right. bigger as you get close to your destination. Oh, sounds like a few things in life. Right. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! I can't believe the human body can smell like mine and still be alive. <laughs> hey, uh, if you ever get stuck in a bad spot, like an alley, put the cab in reverse. That's the south button on your gamepad. South button? I've never Go heard ahead, of it. Give it a shot. Drive into one of those alleys up ahead and then reverse out. I'm trying, but you won't. Oh, it's really. Oh, that's not. Good. They unleashed packs of Rottweilers here at night to keep people from hiding in here and sleeping. I can't cover the whole area. It's quite packs tricky. Okay. Toss it into reverse by holding the south button. Oh, you've got a hold. Okay. Get my life together. Every time you complete a trip, you learn money and time. Okay. How much money and time you make is up to you. Very little, I imagine. This next part is important. Especially if it's sponsored so, by uh, Uber. Listen close. Your screen is gonna highlight people waiting for a taxi. It's almost like we've never had crazy I've taxi seen that before. In What's going on with the little person up in a little jive? The first is red. Those are short trip fares. You won't earn much money at time, but they're quick. Okay. If you've got different color for medium. And a bigger Those are medium feet. distance fares, and they're your real money makers. Yeah. And if there's one thing I like, it's money. It also sounds the last like you kind really like cigars. Are long haul fares. These ones are green and worth the most money and time. Thing is. You risk running out of time before you can drop the passenger off. Okay. What's next? Oh yeah, if you're good enough, head office might just send you a booster pack. If they do, you'll find them at any taxi bay. Okay. Can I play now, please? It. Hold the gas trigger and the north button at the same time. North button. They take a couple of seconds to cycle up and down, and uh, they're good for a total of 60 seconds. Okay. I'm gonna tell you right now, rookie. Rookie. Be careful with these things. Oh my god. If held long enough, they'll get you moving up to 450 kilometers an hour. Yo, my name's Bones. Way faster than skyway speed limits. So be smart about how you use them and when you use them. Okay, Mum. We're almost done, thankfully. Christ for that. We always get the rubbers. Two things. First, if you get stuck yeah. against a wall, I think we stop too high or something. Use well, your we right like analog Jemima. Don't pull away a bit. Want to strafe up and down? You don't need to worry about that, because you're not going to be hitting any walls or anything, right? Second, if you can't find a passenger, use your Navcom AI oh, radar. Join will show you the where they are, how far they're going, and, uh, well, just figure out the rest as you go along. That's it. We're done. Go make me some money. And remember, Keep your eyes open out there, rookie. When you're ready, push the start button. Okay, I've pushed the start button. Which was also the pause, so I had to press it again for it then to go through. Okay, we have some control problems. Right. Let's go pick up some Aunt Jemima's gay pals. Oh, nice teeth. Three, two, one, go! Rough. Over here, get in! Okay, why, why 
why don't you go ahead and take me to Queen and University? Level 610. Queen and University. Oh, there's actually street names and everything. Oh, I like that. Oh, shit. Where are we taking you? Let's do a red one. Let's go, let's go. I'm heading to Dundas for some cover. Level 605. Get to a taxi bay and pick it up. You're a Sunday driver. Oh, I can't I'm supposed to go. I don't know! I can't see where I'm supposed to go! Hope I have enough money for this ride. I hope I know where to bloody well go. Woo! I can't believe they let you drive! Stop your whining! Try and do that again. Now the business dog. What? Your grandmother did. The air down here is disgusting. You're not permitted to walk below 600 feet. If you remain at your current altitude for a continued duration, oh, is it down in here? Please return to your designated employment area. Ah, there we go. Uh, Sorry, you love. Happy Trolls have gone a bit weird as well. So, I would if I could see it. It spins depending on where you're, what you're doing. You're fine, rookie. Well, I'm not kind of surprised. That was very confusing. Thanks for trying the demo for my game. Why not go ahead and choose Add to Wishlist if you're interested in getting release day savings? That way, you'll get Mile High Taxi for 30% off. Press Add to Wishlist now. Mm. Confused, I think, is what my Did name is for yet? that. No! You're fired, game. That was very confusing. Did I'm just going to dive into free roam mode, just so that I can. My elevator only goes as high as 200 levels. Just so I can understand what's going on. There's also so there's also no sound controls to this whatsoever. Apologies, Pinky. But I just I want to kind of understand what I was doing wrong because there was weirdness. And I think it's because I was going too far up and too far down, and then it was taking over my controls and making it very confusing. But I don't dislike the idea. Obviously, this isn't picking up tickets and stuff. Yeah, as soon as I was going, I think I was going too low. I think that was my problem. I like the dystopian adverts. What's the baby about? She has a multi-pass. God, has Facebook taken this over? Foxstar, we're doing it for her. Just do it. Chicken pill. Throw chicken in just two seconds. Om nom 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 nom. That McDonald's, but not McDowell's. <laughs> oh, 
someone's been watching Masterclass. Anyway. Okay, I think I got to the bottom of that. That was because you you were only and it makes sense now because you're only able to go between floors 600 and 650 i think i was pulling down and then it was telling me to pull up but when it was doing that sorry for the confusion on the controls it was starting to push like when i was turning left it was spearing right and when i was trying to correct that by going right it would then throw left i don't think that was intended they got they got the brand i read yeah but yeah that's mile high taxi I'll keep it on my wish list for now out of pure curiosity. Um, doesn't have a coming soon date. Uh, and that appears to be a one person solo dev dealing with that. So I'll keep it on the wish list just out of interest for the time being. Uh, same with Rally Rush, but not necessarily my go to, I think, for that. OK. Next up, continuing the chaos, is called Summer Trip Cruise. Now, one of my favourite demos, and now the game has totally confused my mind. Uh, the, the name has escaped my brain. Um, but it was a game that came out on Steam's Next Fest earlier this year, and it was taking the Mickey out of. Um, You know the ship that got stuck in the Suez Canal <laughs> um, and stuck and caused a massive backlog of everything. Uh, there was a game that was taking the Mickey out of that, and this looked similar. Grease level one. Don't mind if I do. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Speed, speed, speed. <laughs> what do all these control? Okay, so that shows a different. Ah, no, 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 no. No, back the other way, back the other way. I don't think we're doing this in 30 seconds. Oh, horn. Oh, no, we're going backwards. We're going backwards. No, no, no. <laughs> Forward. Okay, hard turn, hard turn. Uh, slower, slower, slower. Spin out of it, spin out of it. No, oh, oh, problems. <laughs> Did you, oh no, no, look at the, my, my, my ship. <laughs> oh, this has not gone to plan. I don't think this is... No! Okay, let's just Titanic it. <laughs> All those screams with the little happy music. Evergreen! That's it. Thank you very much, BP. I really enjoyed that. 1,781 tourists have died. Oopsie. Okay, retry. Let's let's have a better go this time. So let's just move it forward ever so slightly. Do a tiny adjustment. Tiny adjustment, Simon. And slow it right down. How do you, how do, you do this in 30 seconds? It's such a precision thing to do. Take a photo. I think not. Oh, how close do you have to be to it? Can I just kind of get in? No. Do you know what? Speed away, speed away! Uh, 
Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, speed out of it, speed out of it, speed out of it. We might not have got the photo, but we can get to the end. <laughs> there you go. No one died. We didn't get the photo. We didn't get there in the right time, but never mind. <laughs> What's next? You able to see what you're supposed to do ahead? No. Okay. Right, let's try again. But yeah, I really enjoyed Evergreen and I found that oddly very engrossing. And that was why I was like, oh, this is trying to do an Evergreen. Loving that you even knew that that game exists. First chapter finished, that's true. Tell that to my lovers. Okay, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Nice and through, it's looking good so far. Greece is safe, so are all of my passengers. Oh! Poseidon adventure it, quick, hard turn, hard turn, hard turn. But then back again, back again, back again. No, let's keep, keep it spinning. I'm determined, we're gonna get this poxy photo. Let's keep going. Spinny, spin, spin, spin. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we're not taking the photo. <laughs> Sorry, gang, we're behind schedule. <laughs> That's really tricky, because you have to go so close. Oh, that's correct. Let's go the other way. And then about that. It's a very drunken sailor. Okay, I think we can get through the gap, though. Yeah, we're good. Okay, I feel a bit more confident now. Next level. Okay, we're reenacting speed two. <laughs> Cruise control. Can we do it? Spinny, spin, 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 spin. Oh, it kind of it 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 slows itself down with its own momentum. Oh no 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 no! That's the little. Ah, it's pushing me. No currents. No. Push! Push! Ah! Okay, reverse, reverse, reverse. We can do this. <laughs> We're okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Mm. Okay. No. Other way, other way, other way. Mousy, mousy. Okay. <laughs> ah! Panic. We'll do it in reverse. It's okay. We've only killed half the lot. Oh, okay. This works quite nicely. We will have to get the right way round, though, so that we've got enough momentum to get across the stream. Happy, happy holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, round we go, round we go. Let's do that. And I think if we do a tight turn, we'll be okay. And then straight on. A bit to the right. 
Oh, slow, 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 slow. We might be able to take this photo. Fuck a duck. Right. No, don't go in reverse. Go forward. Forward, 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 forward. Okay, we might be able to do it. Might, might. Come on. We can take the photo. I mean, the people who are alive can take the photo. Okay, now go for the turn. And hold it back again. Let's push it back into reverse. And a bit of a stop. Okay, then we can spin it around. Go. Oh, we did it! I think we might kill someone! Ah! Well, I hope it was a trip of a lifetime, <laughs> kids. <laughs> Onward! Oh, another one. No, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way! Oh, no, 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 no. Reverse, reverse, reverse. No, 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 forward, 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 forward. Oh, oh, death. Ah, uh, much death. Okay, this way, this way, this way. I see an end in sight. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Best photo before a disaster. I feel like we've just made ourselves a National Geographic documentary with that. <laughs> Game developed by Guise Caminiti. Music by JL Chinchilla. Remember to wish this on Steam. I liked that. <laughs> Enjoyable. Hey! Oh, it's got the full boat on. <laughs> so that was Summer Trip Cruise. 0.2 so that applies that it's quite early on in the dev process yeah just coming soon it says like that a lot that that is staying on my wish list quite happily okay again i told you that there was not many actual racing and driving games so we're continuing down the rabbit hole further wow. next up is jelly car worlds <laughs> Jelly. Bring me the jello. Love this. Okay, ready, find the thing, go. I like how it doesn't really matter if you get squashed. Oh, reverse no! Ah, missed it. Sounds like the ultimate chicken horse sounds. Yes, it does! Okay, I think I need to... There we go, that's 
ました。ポイン、ポイン、ポイン、ポイン、ああ、ポイン、ポイン、ハジユ、ああ、there we go。I don't think I quite got that right, but okay. Best sound effects ever. Yes. When I was a kid, I didn't have like toy cars. So, what I used to do was、um, I, had a, I had pieces of paper that I would write the Formula One named, names of cars on. And、um, what's that do? Ah, okay, yeah, that one's.、Um, so I would then cut those up and then I'd have races outlined by like pens around like the living room. <laughs> ah, okay. So, like, but the reason why I was saying that is because, like, all of these like, weird and wonderful sounds just remind me of all of that. Because I'd just be like going. Doing all kinds of things. Come on, cling on, cling on. No, we're good. Ah! I suppose I'd need to be a big, need to be a big car to get through. Oh no! Ah,、oh, you can just press A to get rid of it, and it and it hold. Okay, now I get. Ah. Thank you. Hey, that's better. Apologies, there, everyone. Oh, you can just skip to door as well, but then you get to miss out on all of this. I just saw the bread thing up there. Oh, unless it was these. Oh, I love it. 
This is a yes from me. <laughs> I'm such a child. Oh, could you? Hmm. What happens if you get the triangle? You found your first triangle. There's one hidden in every level. See how many you can find. Great. Sound effects. <laughs> They're too cute. So every time I'm pressing. Ah, oh, Christ, okay. That's better. Got there at the end. Okay, we've got the last level to give a go. Okay, interesting. Enjoyed that. That is a good little game. Ah, okay. So then that gives you that, which then I'm assuming means that you can then block. Done. Thanks for playing. Love that. That is Jelly Car Worlds in the full version. What is in the full version? Over 50 levels across six worlds. Wow. has a secret exit and entrance. Or challenge, right? More gameplay modes. <laughs> Wow. Oh. Love that. Yep, quit. Okay, so that's Jelly Car Worlds. Uninstall, loving that. Okay. And then to round off 
we have Zen Golf. You know I like a good golf game. I need some sounds for my game, but I don't know how to make music. Everyone asks for money. <laughs> His name's a Taramon, yes. Oh, okay. Oh! Gotta be that. <laughs> okay, I'm getting quite a bit of. Oh no, there is controller in here. Good, good, good. I'll just quickly dive across to audio because I feel like the audio is peaking. Cruise power, hit ball, skip song. Okay. Single player. So the whole point behind this is that you can do 16 player. So let's pop in 15 bots and see what, what stupidity comes out from it. Par 25, don't mind if I do. Jimmy Carbides needs it saying, yes, I would be up for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> that started off well. Oh God, does everyone take their turns individually? Okay. Let's end that game. Single player. Let's just go for me. So multiplayer implied that everyone went at once. There we go, par, simples. Hold two, part two. So you kind of rotate around on the spot with the left analog stick. The controls for this are a bit odd. And then you use the trigger buttons, like you would for accelerate and brake on a racing game, to decide how powerful your shot is. And then you just press a button to go. That's going to go over, surely. Ah, just about. I like the aesthetic of this, though. Which was really what had drawn me into it, to be honest. And I quite like I, I like the idea of like interesting mini golf. Oh, the balls get air, baby. Sorry, right, the koi carp wanted that. And how do you... Okay, yellow's enough to get you up there. Is it going to push back down? No, not quite. Ah, and you can spin the camera. Okay, that's handy with the bumpers. Feels like it's trying to imitate a pan flute but not managing it. It's an Erhu, isn't it? Uh, no, not a. Not a thing above. It, it feels like it's been. Com the, the music feels like it's been compressed into a bite trait that it shouldn't have. Because the drums feel. and the bass feel really hard and fuzzy in my ear. 
which to me sounds like someone's compressed the audio too much. But I like the idea of it being like, let's do mini golf in a Zen garden. So we'll do a couple more holes of this and then I've got one other game that I had down uh, to do and then I'll round off this stream, which I hope has been interesting and informative and not totally horrific. Is that out of bounds? Oh, naff off. Okay, not very zen now, Simon, are you? Rawr! Is that in the bunker or is that out of bounds? Ah, uh, It's not out of bounds if it's in the sound in general. That's going to be too far. two more holes and then I'll move on I think. I don't mind this. Oh multiple paths. Is that multiple paths? No I don't think you can. Oh nearly. And as part of it, yay! Yeah, RX, that surprised me at how non laggy that game was actually um, for an online beta of it just trying out something. Uh, it worked really, really well. And there was five of us in a race, so I think we tested it quite nicely. That's terrible. Simon. This game is annoying me that it never puts it never auto puts you towards the hole. Which I know that sounds like a terrible thing to moan about, but if it's supposed to be Zen, it needs to be simple and easy. Yeah, they were driving fair as well, which which gives me good vibes for that. In those types of games where it looks more arcadey, sometimes you think, oh no, are people going to take the mick? But um, that was giving me Circuit Superstars vibes. Birdie! Do you know, that's probably the best way to leave off this game. Double birdie. Cursed it now. You have to proper aim stuff. Um, uh, that sounds like a terror. <laughs> what a great observation for a golf game, Simon. But. Ah! Uh, no. Interesting, not fair. I don't think this one's for me. 180 holes over 20 courses, multiplayer up to 20 players, an hour of original music. That's lovely. I'd love to get out the game. Close. 
Thanks for that. 15th of November, Zen Golf comes out. Not convinced with that one. I think that might come off my wish list, to be honest. But we gave it a go. And then the very last game that I'm going to do, just very, very quickly and simply to round off the stream, is a game called Plough the Snow. <laughs> Welcome to the demo version of Plough the Snow, in which you'll be able to access two ready-to-plough levels. This game is about relaxing and simple fun. Don't rush yourself, take your time and forget about school or work for a moment. This is a single-player version, but we plan to have co-op. Oh, wow. That is extremely sensitive. Do you know what I'm going to... Oh, it's just a sensitive of a mouse. E drive. Dear. If we break, we broke the game. <laughs> well, that lasted long. Um, we ploughed. <laughs> Get back to the main menu and try that again. I've cleared the level. I have. Okay, let's go E for driving. Right, so we've started the engine. Let's lower the plow. There we go. Okay, this is much more stable with controls on the keyboard. Hello? I'd like to plough you. Let's change speed, let's go faster. has entered the void. The matrix is real! Okay, so we've cleared. So, and this was my question, and the, and the whole entire reason as to why I downloaded the demo and put it on my wish list was, is it just clear the snow, the game? Is there anything else to it? And I think the answer is, no, Simon, you plough the snow. And, like, I suppose this is, like, Canadian OCD the game? Maybe? Which has its perks. Congrats, press enter to finish the map, or you can plough further if you want. Aye, aye. Hello. Let's try another one. Never past 80%. Estimated time, three to five minutes. Great. Continue. Okay, what else have we got? So we need to refuel. What's that? Fluffer? Wait, what? Oh, is this all the different ones that you can pick up? Eye of the Sea. Park. Okay, before we go off and pick the level. Oh, 
Oh, it's all a bit cooking, Mama. This is my idea of how, not hell, but in this type of stuff, it's a bit odd. So let's try the park. Anything else we need to do? We have a Norwegian here who spent winter shuffling snow towards houses for translation. <laughs> I mean, is that not just you living your best life? Oh, start the engine, Smith. Okay, we're off. Oh, we've still got a dodgy wheel because we, we've left it all a bit wonky, haven't we? So there is like upkeep and general stuff that you need to do so long as you don't smash the thing to death. But yeah, that... I mean, it's a unique premise. I'll give it that. Would I buy this? No? Question? No, I wouldn't. Sorry, I was having to really like be like, would you? No, I wouldn't. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that this exists and like, there is absolutely a, I can see some people being like, oh my God, this game is just so wholesome. Yeah, uh, and maybe it's su suiting that crowd quite nicely. I think I need more, I think, from this. I tell you, if, if you like the idea of laying down something or covering an area, there's a small game called Splash Cars, which has this concept but you're painting a town it's in isometric view top down and you um have cop cars chasing you basically so you need to keep ahead of the cops whilst you paint the town in a color and whilst i wouldn't like be advocating for this kid to be like yeah i'm gonna run away from the cops y'all um because that's it's painting or covering an area, but there's something else going on at the same time. It doesn't feel quite so base level. Okay, so let's get out the vehicle. Oh, no, 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 no. This is just chores. glad it exists and it's competent i mean i know we had that weird glitch at the beginning but yeah i feel like i've had my feel with that already skip 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 cool right that is plow the snow When's that due? Oh, it just says demo available. Well, it's really annoying. I, well, I say annoying. So that's currently got a developer playing the game. There's 181 people watching that right now. So clearly there is a interest for it that it's tapping into something and I know wholesome games is definitely a thing at the moment but yeah Plough the Snow I don't think is a game for me so that was the racing and sports games on Steam's Next Fest bit of slim pickings actually this year I must say uh, the highlights for me were absolutely RXC and Summer Trip Cruise and Jelly Car Worlds those are the three that are definitely staying on my wish list I'm going to keep Rally, uh, Rash Rally 3 on there out of more curiosity. I'm going to remove Zen Golf. I'm going to remove Plough the Snow. And I'm going to remove, I think, Classic Sports Driving now that I've played all of the other ones. And I can't decide over Mile High Taxi. That will probably go as well, if I'm honest. So there's my verdicts. Everyone take care. Have a great day. Um... I don't know if I'd be doing more live streams, but there's definitely more Steam Next Fest, other stuff. 
Um, I've got a couple of, sorry, I've got some puzzle games that I wanted to try out, some platforming games, a couple of city builders, and then there's some like hack and slash action RPG twin stick shooters that I've chunked together. Um, and then there's some like card uh, build, uh, like deck builder tactics games as well. And they're kind of the genres that I've been able to pick stuff out of where there isn't just like one or two in a genre. So I'll probably do something around those. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining.